Hello, my mighty baboon. Today we have crashed on an extraterrestrial planet, and your mission, if you accept it, will be to bear me while I show you how to build a spaceship to escape. The objective of this series will be to give you all a definitive guide on how to do things properly in Factorio. I'm going to record short videos, probably around 5 minutes to 15 minutes each, to show you all the aspects of this wonderful game. If you are a beginner, do not worry, everything is going to be explained, and if you are a more advanced baboon, stick along as you might learn a thing or two. First thing, we are going to press Alt, this will show you the content of containers, and then if you click on one of these, it will open an interface that shows you the inventory on the left and what is in the container on the right. We can then click on the iron plate and place it in our inventory. Doing that for all the wrecks would be tedious, so what we can do is directly take these iron plates by pressing Ctrl plus left click. And let's take the other iron plates. And the main ship wreck, there are a few pill store magazines. Now, if you press E, it will open this very important window. On the left, it shows our current inventory. So you can see that at the moment, your baboon has a drill, a furnace, a piece of wood, and eight iron plates. The middle part has to do with logistics and robots. We are not going to care about that too much at the moment. And finally, on the right are all the recipes that we can craft. If we over on one of the recipes, the iron chest, for example, it is going to display some information such as the resources necessary to craft the item and how long it's going to take to craft it. There are different tabs with different categories of items, but for the moment, we have more important things to do. We need to first manually harvest some resources. First, we are going to need stones. To manually harvest stone, we can do right click on these kind of rocks. And as you can see on the right, we should get around 20 stones out of this rock. To get wood, it's going to be the same thing, just do right click on the tree to harvest wood. Now, if you press M, it will open the minimap and you will see some ore deposits, iron deposit, coal deposit, copper, and stone deposits. Like for trees and rocks, these deposits can be manually harvested by doing a right click. However, that will be quickly tedious and your lazy baboon do not have the patience to do that. So our first mission is going to put in place an automated manning operation using drills and furnaces. We are going to start with iron ores. Before that, I will need to get some coal, and there is a huge chance that there is some in these huge rocks. What we want to do is an operation that will automatically produce iron plates. So the first step is going to be using this burner mining drill to extract iron ore. Let's select this one, and I am going to place it here. At the moment, as you can see, it's not producing anything, and it's because these drills need fuel in order to mine. There are different types of fuel in the game, the less efficient being wood and the most efficient being nuclear fuel. At the beginning, we have access to wood and coal, but I will not even bother with wood as each coal contains twice the fuel that wood contains. That means one piece of coal is going to last two times longer than one piece of wood. As you can see, as soon as we put coal, the drill starts in mining, and it will start to drop iron ores on the ground. Now, remember what we want is not ore, but plates, so we need to smelt this ore in a furnace. So let's take our furnace and let's put it in just in front of the mining drill. Because we placed it in front, the ore dropped from the drill directly goes into the furnace. And same thing with the drill, it needs fuel to operate. So let's take the remaining core and drop it into the fuel slot. And now the furnace is melting iron ore into iron plate. So let's take the first plate. And we have our first basic mining operation. Now the next step is going to expand that. We want more iron plates. And we also want to automatically mine coal, copper and stone. So to do that, we need to build more furnaces and drills. As you can see, a furnace costs 5 stones to craft, so let's craft one by doing a left click. Now, if you want to craft 5 furnaces at a time, you can do that by doing a right click, and you can see them being crafted in the queue at the bottom left of the screen. To expand our operation, we also need a drill, and building a drill will consume a furnace, 3 iron plates, and 3 gears. You do not need to worry how to produce all these items individually, we can just click on the drill, and the game is going to queue everything in the right order for us as long as we have all the raw resources. Let's double down our iron production by putting the drills and furnace here, and we need more coal, so let's find another rock. That's a good one, we are going to get some coal out of it. And let's be clear, my baboon has started to be tired, so I want to automate coal production as soon as possible. Instead of opening the interface, we can just press Ctrl left click to drop an entire stack into the drill. However, I have a little mod installed that really makes my life easier that is called even distribution. And what it does is if I take a stack and maintain shift plus left click and drag it over several buildings, it will evenly distribute the stacks over these buildings. Really a neat little mod. I have a few other mods installed, you can find the list of them in the description of the video. Let's pick up some plates, and as I said, let's automate the coal production. 
For that, we are just going to need two drills, and we just need to rotate the two drills by pressing the R key so that they fit into each other. And now to start them, I just need to manually mine one core and put it in one of the drills. And you can see that the output of one of the drills directly goes into the fuel slot of the second, and vice versa. So they are going to run until they are full, and we can just come here from time to time to pick up some coal. Let's take some iron plates again, and let's produce some more miners and furnace. Because we are going to expand our operations, we want more iron, and we want to start to mine copper and stone. Meanwhile, you can take something from your inventory and assign it to the quick bar. This will let us quickly access items that we often use. And if you made like me a mistake and want to remove an item from the quick bar, you just have to press the middle mouse click. In total, we want four iron miners. That should be enough for that phase of the game. And we are going to pick some coal and distribute it to our new miners. And now let's pick up some more, and we are going to do the same thing on the copper. And you know what, let's harvest a little more coal so that we have enough to start our mining operation on both copper and stone. So here I'm going to build another drill, and we are going to place it here. Oh, and I don't have a furnace, so let's craft one. I am also passing a drill for the stone, and I am also going to build a wooden chest that I am going to place in front of the drill that mines stones. Contrary to the iron and copper, we do not need to smelt stone, we just need to place them in a container so that they stack nicely. Let's add some coal into the miners. And let's have a look at the chest. The miner starts to drop stones. The size of each stone stack is going to be 50. And there are a maximum of 16 stacks. And I do not need to keep 800 stones here. So by clicking on the red cross, I can limit the number of stacks in the chest. I'm just going to keep a maximum of 200 stones. That way, when these four stacks are going to be full, the miner is going to automatically stop mining. For the copper, same thing with iron, we just want to put a furnace in front of the miner. And I do not have coal anymore, so I'm going to place the remaining wood I have, just to quick start our copper plate operation. Alright, that's going to be it for today. In a few minutes, we were able to start from nothing and build the mining operation that ran on coal, mining the four base ores in the game. In the next episode, we will really want to look at how we can start to produce electricity, and replace the drillers that run with coal with drillers that run on electricity. Let's just pick up some iron plates. And another thing to mention is that if we open the minimap, you can see there are some enemies on the top right. And if I press the pollution button, we can see that our miners and furnace start to produce pollution. And we are going to need to be cautious because when this pollution is going to touch the enemy base, the enemies are going to attack our base. And it's going to be like a fire under our baboon ass, and we are going to need to prepare for that and protect our base in the future if we do not want to be picked like a fresh banana. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Don't forget to add a like and to subscribe if you like the video and would like to see more similar content. It really helps the channel. And see ya, my friends!